It also have to do with your emotions. How exactly do you feel about yourself? Do you truly, truly love yourself? Do you love yourself just the way you are? Do you love your body shape? Do you love your body figure? Do you love everything else? Hi my loves, welcome and welcome back into my channel. It's Yuri here again as always. First time you've seen me in, you're welcome. Today's subscribe, we have a good time here on this channel. So guys, welcome to another self-development video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about tips and how you can improve your mental health, guys. <laughs> I suddenly realized when it comes to adulting, it can take a toll on your mental health, like honestly. If you're not surrounded <laughs> by good people, if you're not taking time out for yourself, if you're not taking things once they about the time, things can get so overwhelming. And let's not even talk about adding social media stress to it. It can definitely get overwhelming. So I'm just gonna talk about the tips I'm proactively taking in order to improve and help my mental health, my mental health, and I'm sure you all would find this useful too. So the very first thing here is you need to learn how to write your emotions down. Yes, guys, that sounds cliche, yeah, but writing emotions down would really help, especially days you feel so overwhelmed, especially days you feel like you just you're just feeling down like you do not want to do anything trust me guys there are things in your head that's making you feel that way so taking all that time to write down exactly how you're feeling or what or what went wrong probably is a friendship breakup or a relationship breakup you're just going through life or be it some financial crisis or even a job loss or just life happening just take all that time to write down guys it helps you express yourself it helps you let out everything in your mind down on a piece of paper that helps rather than storing everything up in your head rather than storing everything up in your mind resting down the piece of paper would truly help relieving that burden from you and in addition to writing down your emotions it's really important to keep a gratitude journal guys <clears throat> As young adults, there are times you could just compare yourself to that fellow out there. Oh, that person is doing better than I am. Oh, I don't feel I'm doing enough. It happens, but you need to make sure you do not do that because you always need to remember everybody's journey in life is different. My journey is different from your journey. So if you keep on comparing yourself with the other person, you are just setting up yourself for failure because you're going to be striving, striving too far self and trying to be like somebody else, trying to get some certain things the other person have and that is not good write a gratitude journal look at your life you've come a long way honestly you know there are times you just get so wrapped up in life that we forget to take stock of our achievements of how just how things are going on in our life because trust me so if you're to write down some changes in your life trust me there's gonna be a difference from where you're at before and where you're at now it doesn't have to be huge but little baby steps you need to learn how to celebrate yourself you need to learn how to write down on the gratitude journal the little accomplishments that you have for yourself the second tip here is do not pretend honestly like do not put up a happy face when inwardly you know you're not happy when you know you're going through stuff and friends family ask you how are you doing especially your close friend your 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 close circle they're asking you how are you doing and you keep saying i'm good i'm fine i'm deep down within you you know you're going going through things i totally understand there are some set of people that you prefer talking to telling some certain things i have friends that i tell like really deep stuff and whenever i am in this state of like when i'm going through some certain things and i feel i really just need to talk to someone i pick up my phone and call guys I pick up my phone and call and pour out my heart because that helps me process my thoughts, process my emotions and that helps me also listen because these are my trusted people, these are my trusted friends, you know. I also listen to what they have to say and at, at the end of the day, probably they give me some advice or they just give me a listening ear. Embrace whatever emotions you're feeling at a certain time. Do not max, do not spread. If, if you're going through loss or you just feel like crying or lessening it out please do not hold yourself back there's nothing there's no price in forming 
strong strong woman no there's no price for that so you need to learn how to express your emotions whenever you're feeling some certain type of way but i'm not saying express your emotions in an aggressive way nope i'm not all for that but just being true to yourself do not pretend and speak to your close circle if some things are really bugging you and you really need to let it out so guys my next tip here is you need to stop overthinking you need to learn to focus on things that you can control i have been there guys there are times i think and think and think on how to do some certain things on how to achieve some certain goals and i am here just thinking just stressing myself out and i'm like girl take a chill pill okay take it easy <laughs> i had to tell myself one day i had to tell myself i will only care and worry about things that are within my control and things that are not within my control i just leave it up to god because there is no price for overthinking overthinking would add or subtract from anything the problem is still gonna be there the worry is still gonna be there so you thinking is just adding extra stress to yourself whenever you find yourself in that state of overthinking probably you just have so many things in your mind you just have so many things you're trying to you're trying to um picture how you're going to achieve that goal i've said this a lot write things down writing helps guys journaling helps if you're not paper and pen type of person write down on your ipad on your laptop just write down exactly what you're feeling so don't overthink yourself to stress it doesn't add or it doesn't remove from anything you're just stressing yourself and that's not good for you and that's not good for your mental health in order to improve your mental health you need to have some routines for yourself have self-care routines that helps you feel your best that helps you look your best and that helps you live your authentic life so guys in my previous video i speak a lot about routine guys it helps a lot because trust me life happens we are adults life really happens day by day there are days you're gonna have a good day there are days you're gonna have it's really really bad but having some self-care routine for yourself that is pushing yourself first doing things for yourself like treating yourself as the the best person ever that would really really help you guys i don't know recently i've been into self-care self-love aside from you know buying some good shower stuffs for yourself trying to improve some of your linen your bed sheets your nightwear and all of those things it also have to do with your emotions how exactly do you feel about yourself do you truly truly love yourself do you love yourself just the way you are do you love your body shape do you love your body figure do you love everything about you you need to ask yourself those important questions guys and you really need to learn how to love even your imperfections because that is you i say this a lot guys it's just one of us here it's just me there's there won't be no other rejoice again that would have my kind of personality love yourself guys honestly love yourself be proud of yourself be proud of your body be proud of everything that has to do with you and learn to advocate for yourself especially in the workplace do not do not let inferiority complex take the best out of you learn how to advocate for yourself and speak up for yourself and if you want me to do another video on this just to let me know down the comment section so having self-care self-help routines reading some self-help book saying some affirmative words to yourself would truly and tremendously improve your mental health so guys you need to keep your close friend close it's really important kind of friends you have in your circle it's better you have really small dependable trusted buddies your close circle rather than having a lot a whole lot of friends and it's toxic filled with envy jealousy backbiting here and there keep it small guys honestly the smaller the better so just keep it small friendship honestly is the greatest blessing i have i love my friends honestly because my circle is really small and i have friends that i don't know they're just the best honestly and i speak to some of them literally every single every day <laughs> every day um not every day i mean there are days you know life happens someone is busy but we try to keep up we try to keep up with each other friendship honestly is one of the greatest blessing ever having people that you can trust that truly understands you that truly understands your personality is really really a good thing but guys i understand that with adulting journey there are times you know we get so busy with work or get so busy with our business and we forget to reach out we forget to say hi to our friends we forget to check up on our loved ones to so family friends 
you forget like everything is just busy 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 but you need to make all that time guys do not be too busy that you forget to check up on that your best friend or you forget to check up on that your family member try try your best especially your family your your blood family you need to learn how to say hello hi once and once in a while because that really helps you don't know what people are going through a lot trust me people are going through a lot so just checking up here and there would really really help and talking to friends and let them know what we are going through it makes it a shared experience because they get to tell you what they feel about the situation and they get to just tell you the perspective of whatever is going on and that just helps put things in a better picture that helps you further analyze things and you end up making whichever decision that is best for you guys this tip here is so so important you need to respect yourself hmm. respect yourself by creating boundaries I speak a lot about boundaries guys boundaries helps protect you it helps protect you like that's just how i define boundaries so when you have some setting boundaries for yourself you're trying to tell people how they should treat you how they should approach you you're not just letting anybody into your corner and you're not just letting anybody into your space having boundary guys it is really really important you're protecting yourself and you're protecting your peace do not let people take advantage advantage of you guys you need to speak up for yourself you deserve to have your boundaries appreciated you deserve it you deserve to have your boundaries appreciated guys that's the word you deserve to be treated well by others and you also deserve to be treated well by yourself as i said earlier love yourself guys because if you don't treat yourself well how do you expect another person to treat you well so treat yourself well love yourself and that would reflect outwardly so guys this important tip here is you need to learn how to practice meditation mindfulness just whichever one works for you for me it's just more about when i wake up in the morning i try not to have first contacts with my phone i try to stay away from my phone rather i use that morning morning quietness you know when you wake up in the morning especially when you wake up very early in the morning it's quiet no noise people are still sleeping so i just use the time to read my bible read my devotion say a word of prayer sometimes just listen to some slow jams that helps me it sets me off for my day it makes me feel like yep I'm ready to start my day i wake up lay in my bed i try my best not to pick up my phone the very first in the morning because that just disrupts my productivity so you need to know what works for you that some people is practicing mindfulness practicing meditation taking that time out to just process their thoughts process whatever is going true in their life so you just need to know what works best for you so guys these are my tips here on how to improve your mental health did you find anyone useful let me know down in the comment section and let me know which tip are you actively gonna practice to further improve your mental health guys because it's really important to protect yourself protect your mental health to not let anything toxic get to you protect your space guys and as always stay happy stay blessed stay cheerful guys and i'll see you all in my next one Ciao.